Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's Lunch and Learn presented by Officer Reports. This month, we'll be going over the policy manual and post orders. So two very important uh, things that you may not be utilizing within your company and that allows you to uh, do a couple of things. My name is John Greer. I'm the customer experience manager here at officerreports.com. And why is learning this important? Why do you want to use the policy manual? Why do you want to upload post orders? Well, for the policy manual, it gives your officers access to all company policies like HR, payroll, address code, et cetera, electronically and all in one place. And in the session for the policy manuals, you'll learn how to place manuals under different categories so they are easy to locate by your officers. In post orders, uh, it allows you to give site-specific information to your officers. You can even upload a manual to uh, that location. So if, for example, if your client has a manual um, or you've got a multiple page document that is specific to that one specific site, uh, you can upload that into the post orders. And as these lunch and learns are rather quick, we'll move on to the live demonstration now. All right, and as you see here, of course, I always log in, and this is the first page you'll see as you after you log in as an administrator um, under the main site at officerreports.net. In order to upload policy manuals, you go to Settings, Policy Manual, and as you see here, I've got already a few set up. So I've got HR Promotions, HR Time Off, Operations, training, um, policy manuals, specific manuals, or specific policies for manuals for uniforms and then one for other. Now these categories, in order to rather, in order to add a, another uh, policy manual, and these policy manuals are company-wide. So anytime your officer is at an, a location, they can go ahead and, and tap on the policy manual within that site menu and see all of the manuals that you've uploaded. Recommend probably uploading or likely uploading the files into a PDF format as that's readable by every device that I'm aware of and both Android and, and iOS. Um, and it's not editable, of course. So uh, like the PDF file, uh, if you've got Word documents, if you've got um, anything that so you're still holding into a paper format, but you've got a scanner. Most scanners allow you to scan multiple pages into a PDF file. Uh, so you can quickly take that binder that more than likely you may have at each location or um, that you hand out to your officers um, so they can look over all this information. You can take that and actually scan it in, upload each section, uh, of the policy manual to a different location. Again, make it easier for your officers to locate and view electronically if they ever have to reference it again. So if we click on Add Policy Manual in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see categories, subcategory, title, and details. Now these categories, unlike list types, you can't um, customize these. Uh, however, we've given you the categories we leave, uh, you'll use most often, and even allow you to select other if something that we have here does not fit into your the way your company works. So we've got HR, operations, policy, and of course other. And under HR, we've got FAQs, payroll, promotions, time off, and other. Under operations, we've got again FAQs. Schedule, training, and other. Under policy, we have attendance, FAQs, uniforms, other. And of course, under other, the only subcategory we would have under there is other. So let's say, let's we'll see, we've got, our, we've got promotions and time off for HR. So let's go ahead and actually, sorry, time off and promotion. So we'll go ahead and upload a payroll. 
title will give it is, well, payroll, maybe and in the details, pay dates and direct deposit information. Good upload file. Good select policy manual. See here, it's been attached. And click submit. It really is just that easy. And after your officers log in, go to policy manual at the site menu. So after they've logged in, select the site, they're at that location. And we know that we're at the location because they're within that geofencing area. Tap on policy menu, you'll be able to see the specific categories um, and the subcategories. So they want to learn HR, HR information, you know, anything regarding HR, pay, <clears throat> anything regarding HR operations, policy, specific policies, um, and need, again, even other if we don't have a, a specific main category that fits your needs. Super simple, super simple. We'll go ahead and move on to the site post orders, and you'll find that under setup, sites, and as it's specific to a site, you can upload different post orders to each site. So we'll go ahead and select the Lunch and Learn site, go to options, and go to post orders. Now, I've already entered an address here, and that address will appear when your officers go to select the site. So if they're at that location, the address appears alongside the location when you update and post orders. You don't have to give a phone number for that location if you don't want to, but the address, city, state, and zip code are requirements if you do want to use the post orders. So you don't have to give a phone number for the location. You don't have to give a client contact name or phone number, um, but you can. Uh, maintenance name and phone number, which is generally helpful. Uh, Non-emergency police department. Now the name probably would be non-emergency or maybe sheriff's office or something like that. Um, phone number. And then say if you've got an agreement with a towing company or somebody's parked in a spot where they should not be parked, um, you know, definitely towing company name and phone number if you're contracted with one um, or if you prefer one. So if your client says, hey, we use this towing company, you're able to give them a call if someone's not parked in the right spot or they need to off the property, you can provide that information here. Uh, if anything changes, you can always come back through here again. Site, there are setup, site options, post orders, and update this information. You can even leave comments. Now, the comments um, would be viewable within the post orders themselves. So, after the officer is logged into the site on the site menu, they'll see post orders. And again, these could be, you know, it's general information about the site. Um, it could be general policies. It could be general procedures. Um, so comments, you know, can be, the box can be limiting, which is not why it's not a requirement. Um, but again, if you have uh, multiple pages from a client or you've got uh, things that have developed over time at a specific location and you have secure, specific policies and procedures in place for that site, you can upload a file right to the post orders. And what I would probably do in the comments is see file for policies and procedures. Go to upload file and upload post orders. You can only upload one file to post orders. So generally what you want to do is if you've got multiple documents, again, you can either merge the PDF files or merge the documents together, or if you've got them on paper, uh, when scanning these, the document or documents in, um, with your, whatever scanning utility you use, a lot of them nowadays, any, any, uh, any 
any scanner or software or that's pretty much relevant these days would have a multi uh, page scanning utility that allows you to actually scan multiple pages at once and then convert the multiple pages into a PDF file so you can upload that. Once we click submit, our officers have access to that document and all the post order information we provide them to them in this section here. And that's really all there is to it. And as these lunch learn sessions are supposed to be short, so anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes, um, or even less in some cases, um, we'll go ahead and enter our question and answer phase. Um, if you have a question, there should be a green or a green bar or a gray bar with green bubbles essentially in the middle of your screen. If you click on the second one, it brings on the chat window. Make sure you select my name from the list so you can type directly to me. If you decide you want to type to everyone, that's fine. Yeah, I'll give you a moment to ask any questions you may have now. All right, so I'm not showing that anybody's actually typing anything in regards to a question. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on. If you were to need online training, it's really super simple to get. Um, and then one of the, our latest updates we included a support menu directly within uh, the administrator view um, after you log into the main site, it used to be in the upper right hand corner, really not all that visible. We wanted to make it more visible for everybody. Um, and actually, that's what we've done here. So, again, log goes to, to officerreports.net. You'll click on main site, log in using, your, using an administrator user for your company, locate the support tab, and click to reveal the support menu. So the support menu is exactly what you see here, the support center, contact us, and request training. If you click on request training, you'll see a calendar that appears, and you'll select a time and date a slot that is available for an online training session. So if you want to dive into something uh, completely different, or we haven't covered in a lunch and learn, or the support center, uh, you've read over it, and you're a little confused, or maybe, um, you know, you're, you're all set and ready to go, but you just want to make sure. Or if you're exploring a feature in also reports that you know, you've never used it before, but you want to use it, you just want to make sure that you've, you understand it completely um, and entirely and, and, and have somebody on the other end to kind of um, bounce your questions off of. And so just reading the support center and always click on request training to schedule that training session. And one of our support staff or myself will uh, do some, what, essentially what we're doing here. So, um, either they'll have you share your screen and walk you through the process because some people are hands-on learners or uh, the opposite occurs where essentially I'm sharing my screen or they're sharing their screen with you. Um, they walk you through the process. So it depends on however you want to do it. Um, and you can definitely make that request once you, once you get on the phone. Uh, during your online training session time.